to Wisdom Grace. I want to share something to you today that is going to open your eyes to understand how the spiritual realm operates. And um, our subtopic is going to be witchcraft under Satanic Kingdom and what are their characteristics. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to share with you guys what I've learned for the past couple of days, what the Lord has been revealing to me. Sometimes it's not obvious to us. But a significant trait in the witchcraft spirit. So when we sense that trait in the witchcraft and, and with, with an agent of the devil. So let's pray before we get into it. Father, I thank you for this time we're about to um, discuss about the satanic realm. Heavenly Father, cover our life with the blood of Jesus. That no weapon fashioned against us will not stand, will not prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I soak myself with your blood. Keep me from every evil eye, from every evil tongue, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, open our eyes to know your revelation. And I pray for your people who are watching, oh God, open your eyes. Your word said, when you know the truth, the truth will set them free. Whoever is in bondage right now, whoever is in attack through demonic influence or witchcraft attack, I declare freedom, I declare deliverance. By the power of God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are delivered from every witchcraft influence in your life in the name of Jesus. The God who has done it for others will do it for you. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. The characteristics of, of the witchcraft spirit that sometimes is not obvious to us is jealousy. You might wonder, jealousy is... is it's not something you characteristics your nature you're you're kind you're honest you're a liar you have sinful characteristics evil characteristics and you also have godly good characteristics our nature our who we are pretty much right so a witchcraft spirit one of the most obvious that i've sensed or that i've what i've done my study on 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 witchcraft operation is the, the, the spirit of jealousy. These qualities, they are spirits. Just like fear is a spirit. Because the Bible said, God did not give you and I the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. Power is a spirit. Self-control is a spirit. Love is a spirit. And these are qualities. And the Bible said, God is what? God is love. Jesus Christ said, Satan is the father of lies. Satan has a spirit of lying in him. He is the Antichrist. And, 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 and the people, the agents of the devil, especially in the realm of witchcraft, has the spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy is, is so obvious. It's one of the, um, the, the, the external evidence that you can sense when you're around or in the spiritual realm or why people are chasing after you why why witches don't want to see you progress whenever you want to move forward the spirit of setback the spirit of backwardness the spirit of not going anywhere come at you but i pray in the mighty name of jesus you are delivered from every spirit that is holding your destiny that is holding your future in the name of Jesus. And the reason why this agent of the devil in your family, in your altars, operating, fighting against you is because why? They are jealous of your star. What did I say? They are jealous of your star. Your star signifies your potential, your purpose, your destiny that God has ordained from the foundation of the earth. Every human being has a star. So the enemy wants to trade your star, the enemy wants to replace your star, the enemy wants to give your star to somebody else. So that you will not fulfill your destiny, your God-given destiny. But God is such a good God because he said he has come to destroy the works of the devil in your life. You have to believe and trust in Jesus because only he can handle witchcraft activities in your life because he did it for me i was once a victim but thank be to god almighty he has given me victory over the works of the enemy your destiny 
your purpose, your future, you will fulfill it by the grace of God, by the power of God Almighty. So the spirit of jealousy is, 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 is the core, is the root, is the source of why riches and wizards are pursuing you. What an agent doesn't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you succeed. They want to attack every area in your life that is significant. They want to attack your finances. They want to attack your, your relational life. They want to attack your spiritual life. They want to attack your educational life. They want to attack your professional life. Because these are areas in your life that are, that are, that are essential to you. You want to obtain your degree, they will attack you. You want to start a business, they will attack you. Because that's kind of the spirit of witchcraft, they operate in the spirit of jealousy. They don't want to see you progress. They are jealous of you. They instead they want to see you destroy. They want to see you become a slave. They want to see you live in poverty. They want to see you become a failure in life. But that is not of God Almighty. Because Jesus said, I've come to do what? To give you life and life abundantly. And the devil has come to do what? To steal, to destroy, and to kill. That is not of God, beloved. God is on your side, and God will fight for you. Be still and know that the battle belongs to God Almighty. Let's go to our scriptural account of what I've been talking about. How the spirit of jealousy in witchcraft. And I thank God because God has helped me to identify it in the scripture. We're going to go to Jesus. How the spirit of witchcraft operates in King Herod. Let's see what it says. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 2 from verse 1. It says, now after Jesus was born, usually witchcraft, they will attack you when you are young. Your grandmother or your mother, I don't know what they did to you when you were young. I don't know what kind of covenant they made. I don't know what kind of vows they made for you on your behalf without, without your, your input whatsoever and it's still affecting you whatever decisions that they made in the altars and whatever initiation to, to, to make you belong but thank God because you are washed by the blood of Jesus you have a new DNA you belong in the bloodline of Jesus not in the bloodline of your mother not in the bloodline of your father but of Jesus so all these attacks happen. All these attacks happen when you are young. Because you're innocent, you're a child, what do you know? And people who are already in your family who are involved in witchcraft, they got you into it. But look what it says. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Aaron, in this family of, of, of the line of Jesus, there's no, I don't, I don't see any witchcraft because, because Mary was a God-fearing woman. What's your name? Uh, uh, Joseph was a just man. But witchcraft was trying to come into the life, into the family, into the life of Jesus when he was young. From who? King Herod. But look what it says. In the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? The destiny of Jesus. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. That is his destiny. Initially, when he first came, he did not come as a king. But the second time when he's going to come, he's going to come as the conquering, reigning king of this entire universe, including the kingdom of darkness. That's who Jesus is. He is, he is going to glorify himself above every other principalities, and he has given us power. Glory be to Jesus for that. And look what it says, beloved. So we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Jesus had a star. And that star was a star in the east. They saw his star. The wise men saw his star. Sometimes you have people in your life who have seen your star. And they, and they, and they want to celebrate with you. But some people are there who envy you. Who want your star. Who don't like your destiny. Who are competing. Who want to compare themselves with you. You know, your haters. We're going to get to Joseph and his brothers. 
But I want us to focus on what they did to Jesus because you see sometimes you think oh as a believer Oh no witch, no wizard, they're not gonna come near me. No, they're gonna try you Don't be deceived. They are gonna try you. They tried me and they have tried so many people that I know They have destroyed people's destiny, but glory be to God I want to let you know if you hold on to Jesus, he will fight your battle He will deliver you and you will fulfill your destiny Don't settle don't settle because the spirit of witchcraft they don't have no mercy they don't have no mercy because they want to see you hurt they want to see you destroyed they don't have no mercy if god did not show no mercy to the devil why would you want to show mercy to people that want to destroy your life especially people who are agent to the devil so look what it says when Aaron, the king heard this wow he was troubled Verse 3 to you. When Herod the king heard this, what did he hear? Three wise men came from the east, I believe, and they were proclaiming that where is he who has been born king of the Jews? Herod huh. was afraid that he's gonna be replaced. He was afraid that there's a new king of the Israelites. There's a there's a newborn baby who's gonna reign. Herod, you're old. Your time is going to come to pass. But he was jealous, troubled, troubled. Witches and wizards, whenever God wants to promote you, whenever God wants to take you to another level, that is why David said, God, I am going to move from glory to glory. And nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. I am going to move from glory to glory. I am going to move from strength to strength. And look what it says. Because a witch and a wizard, they're trouble when they see your life is progressing. When they see God is blessing you. When they see the hand of God upon you. When they see that God is making progress in your life. They don't like that. They're trouble in your spirit. Whatever agents around you, they're troubled. That is exactly what happened to King Herod. He was troubled because he heard something good about Jesus when he was a child. And all Jerusalem with him, they were all troubled. Haters, they were all troubled because there's a new king. So look what he did. He inquired. He was curious. Monetary spirit. That's what they are. Monetary spirit. They want to inquire about your destiny. They want to inquire. They gossip you. That's why you don't reveal your visions to nobody you don't trust. Don't reveal. Before God gives you a vision, make sure that you, you pray to God. Not just anybody that you share your vision with. Not anybody that you share your dream with. That is the mistake that Joseph did. He shared his vision to the wrong person. He shared a vision to people that don't like you. Don't share your vision to people that don't like you. Because first of all, they don't like you. They hate you. Wow. Herod inquired. He wanted to know more about Jesus. He wanted to know more about Jesus. Wow. Monetary spirit. That's what they do. They're their spirit assigned by the devil to go out there to monitor your life. To monitor your education, to monitor your finances, to monitor your, your, your relationship, to monitor the promises of God in your life. Wow. So what did uh, Kid Arrow did? Sent out monitoring spirit. He sent them out. Called the chief priest, the scribes of, of all the people. Even the people. He inquired of them where Christ was to be born. Wow. He didn't know. He didn't know. Because God did not reveal to him. God did not show the star of Jesus to King Herod. He didn't do that. Wow. May God help us. So they said to him in Bethlehem of Judea, for that it is written by the prophet. And then Herod, when he heard, when he had secretly called the wise men, secretly called the wise men, Witchcraft spirit, you're very deceptive. They are very deceptive. And, and they were determined what time the star will appear again. Oh my God. They're trying to kill the destiny of Jesus at an early age. 
That's exactly what they do, what they were trying to do in the life of Moses when he was a child. He has a greater style. He has a destiny. But look what it says. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully, oh my God, for the young child. Carefully for the young child. With all the, the enemy has strategies how to wipe out Jesus at an early age. Excuse me. Bring back word to me. Why? He's trying to use the wise man as monetary spirit that I may come and worship him also. Deception. The Bible said Satan is an, appears as an angel of light, but Satan is not an angel of light. He appears as an angel of light, but he is not. Jesus is the angel of light. Satan is very deceptive. And when they heard the king, they departed and behold the star which they have seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over, oh my God. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the mother, they saw Jesus and they worship him and they bring gifts to Jesus. But look what happened. I say to you, God will fight your battle in your dreams. Makarabosa, because the, the witchcraft realm, they operate, they operate, they fight you in your dream. But glory be to God, because when you are sleeping, that is when they attack you. But glory be to God, God is a God who do not sleep. Good do serve a God who slumbers. I am here to tell you, as you are sleeping, enjoying your beauty sleep, my beloved God. Marida Bosa will frustrate your enemy, will frustrate every agent of the devil. But look what it says in verse 12. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. God intervened. God, Marida Bosa, the I am that I am. Barika, the Bible said, greater is he in us. Even though the enemy is planning to take the life of Jesus at an early age, Marika Blabosa, nobody can stop what God can do in your life. There's a song that goes like this. Nobody can stop what God can do in your life. Satan can stop what God can do in your life. Hey, Barabosa. No witches or wizard can stop what God can do in your life. My destiny and my future are in the hands of God. Your destiny and your future are in the hands of God. Nobody can stop what God will do in your life, beloved. I want you to listen to me. Nobody can stop what God can do in your life. As long as God is on the throne and God has determined, predetermined that this is who you're going to be and you are going to fulfill it you want to become a doctor if that's what god ordained it it shall come to pass you want to become a man of god if that's what god ordained it it shall come to pass a businesswoman it shall come to pass you want to get married he will come to pass you want to be established in life he will come to pass you want to obtain a degree he will come to pass you want to worship god you want to you want to receive salvation it will come to pass it will come to pass. But look what it says. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring word, for everyone will seek the child to destroy him. Oh, Mariga When witches and wizards, they have tried you. They have tried you. They have tried to frustrate your life. But now, they're trying to kill you. Beloved, they, they, they did the same thing to Jesus, but they did not succeed. They did not succeed, so they won't do it to you. Because Jesus is on your side. He paid the blood. He paid with his blood on the cross on your behalf. So no witch can kill your destiny. Satan will not steal your destiny. He will not destroy your destiny. Because Jesus Christ said he has come to do what? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. But glory be to God. Now let's go to Joseph. But look what it says. Joseph, you know what? I'm going to share Joseph another time. So stay tuned for part two, okay? Thank you, Father Lord, for, for this magnificent time. Thank you for exposing the, the, the works of the devil. Continue to protect the life of your people, O God Almighty. We believe in you, Lord Almighty, that, that no weapon fashioned against your people will prosper. God Almighty, our destiny, our future, our purpose in life is in your hand. 
it is your desire that every man will come to salvation those who don't know you oh god give them the opportunity oh god to know you because the only way you can have victory is through the blood of jesus it's through your faith in jesus and accepting and receiving jesus christ as your personal savior and then you can have victory over the demonic realm thank you jesus in jesus name amen god bless you god bless you please uh if you like this message if you're being blessed please subscribe to uh, uh, uh the youtube channel wisdom grace and share this with your friends this is the things that the lord has put in my heart and hopefully I'll, 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 I'm going to again come back and share part two of this uh, magnificent revelation from the Lord. Thank you. God bless you, beloved.